let me ask you a question. Do you want to wear shorts this summer? Because if you do, I think you should. And today I'm gonna to give you 10 tips so that you can wear shorts this summer and look absolutely fabulous. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and I will be telling you more about them towards the end of the video. Hello ladies, it's a hot topic. <laughs> I know not every woman over 50 wants to wear shorts, but if you do, then you can do that and you can show up big and you can look your very best and you can feel confident and comfortable in those shorts. Now, later on in a week or two or three, I don't know when it is, I have a video about how, what else you can wear besides shorts this summer? And I also have a video coming up about how to look chic in the heat. And a lot of those tips have nothing to do with wearing shorts. So stay with me if this is not your thing. But if you are one of my ladies who wants to wear shorts this summer, then we're gonna do that. We are gonna wear shorts on some days, occasionally to a picnic outside, and we're gonna feel fabulous because I'm gonna give you 10 tips. They're all good, so stay all the way with me. We're gonna make this as short as possible so we can get on with our day. But I do have 10 tips and I think I think you're gonna tell me that the last one is the best, so hang with me. If we don't know each other, my name is Kay, and I blog at dressformyday.com, and both here and there, I really just show up each week encouraging women over 50 to get dressed for our days in a way that makes us feel good. Tip number one, let's get moving with this. Tip number one is, ignore the fashion police. I don't know who they are, but every once in a while we hear that siren in our head saying, oh, you can't do that. Let me tell you something. If you want to wear Bermuda length shorts, then you just might be able to. What you need to do instead of listening to the fashion police is pay attention to your own body shape, body proportions, and those unique things about your body. When you know your body and how to dress your body, then you know which length of shorts is best for you. Some ladies absolutely should wear Bermuda length shorts because they like them, because they are indeed in style and fashionable. And if you are taller, I'm actually five foot eight, so I'm pretty tall. I've got long legs. If you have long legs, maybe you're even short, but you have long legs proportionately to the rest of your body, then you can wear those Bermuda length shorts. On the other hand, if you are petite, then you probably can rock those shorter shorts and not look inappropriate, but look absolutely stellar. So you wanna know your preferred inseam for your shorts is what you want to know. The inseam is the length from the crotch to the hem of the jeans or the hem of the shorts, the hem of the pants. So you wanna know the inseam that works best for you. Shorts come in basically three different ranges. I would say that anything from two to four inches, that is pretty short. <laughs> and, but if you're a petite, I see like on me, a, a two inch inseam would look absolutely ridiculous. But if you're a petite, then it may be that two to four inch inseam is perfect for you. Now the sweet spot that works for most women, I would say is, I'd say somewhere between four to six inches or five to seven, let's say five to seven inches, five, six, seven inches. Those are kind of a mid-length short and they kind of come midway through the across the thigh there, maybe a little bit longer than mid-thigh. And that's kind of a sweet spot for a lot of people can wear that length of short. The Bermuda length or just that longer length would be anything that let's say like an eight, nine, even 10 and a half inch. I'm even seeing 11 and 12 and 13 inch shorts this year. So that's up to you. But those are those longer ones that hit like right above the knee or even knee length or even some below the knee. Now, you indeed wanna pay attention to some things when with those different inseams. So the main thing though is ignore those fashion police when they're, that siren is in your ear and instead pay attention to your body proportion. Know what works best for your height, your proportions, your body shape. You're gonna to have to do a little research. I'm gonna help you out with some links below in the description box down there. Just click on the title of this, this uh, video and it will help you open up the description box. You may have to click on the word more too, but then it all opens up. I've got links to anything that's available 
I'm filming this a few weeks in advance, so I'm not really sure about availability, but anything that's available, I'm going to link you to. And I have some links to some blog posts and maybe even a video or two that will help you with your body proportions, your body shape, your height, and all those sorts of things, knowing which length shorts are best for you. Let's move on to tip number two. Tip number two is to pay attention to the leg opening. That is almost more important than the inseam, I would say because you do not want the leg opening of your shorts to be so small that it makes your legs look like they're being squeezed. Somehow, like when, especially when the, if the leg opening is squeezing in your thigh, then you're gonna get that little dimple thing there, you know, that little hump, and it's gonna look like those shorts are too tight. You don't want that. On the other hand, if the shorts just kind of follow the direction of your legs, but they kind of skim your legs, maybe there's a little bit of room there, a little wiggle room, that is actually very becoming. Of course, there are also actually shorts out there this year that are wider. They almost have like a skirt appeal there. So like they, they stick way out from the leg. Once again, you need to know your proportions, you need to know your body shape, because if you have wide shoulders, for instance, then that wider leg opening could actually balance out those wide shoulders and make you look more proportionate. On the other hand, if you have narrow shoulders and wider hips, so you have that triangle shape, then you probably do not want to wear that le wide leg opening short that looks like a skirt. It's just going to make you look more like a triangle. So once again, you need to know your body shape, your proportions and all that. Ideally, I do think most of us can wear a short that has a little bit of room, maybe even like that, you know, two or three fingers can go up in the sides of that leg opening comfortably there. You got a little wiggle room. That just makes your legs look a little bit skinnier, a little thinner, gives you that little trim look, and that works for most of us. Tip number three is to check out the rear view. Now, nobody likes doing this. I did not like posing for these videos. <laughs> I hate looking at my own rear view in the mirror, but you got to do it. Maybe have somebody take a picture of you on your cell phone. Have your husband take that picture on your cell phone. Like my husband took these pictures for us. And then look at them and decide. First of all, some things about pocket placement. Is the pocket placement good? Is the pocket, if the pockets are too low, then it makes your rear end look like it's sagging. We don't want that. If the pockets are too high, it makes you kind of look like the shorts are too small, they're too wide, it's gonna make you look wide. You want those pockets proportionate to the shorts, kind of sitting right there, a little high above your derriere, but right, you know, right there in the center kind of, if there are even pockets. But you can also, of course, find shorts without pockets too, but you just wanna check it out. You don't want anything stretching or tight. You don't want that look where like, um, it's kind of poofy in the back, so it looks like you're wearing a diaper, you know? So you just want things to check out in the rear view. Number four kind of encapsulates numbers one through three, and that is that fit matters. Ladies, we just want shorts that fit. That's the bottom line. You, whatever length you want to wear, you want your shorts to fit. You don't want any pulling across the front. You don't want those pockets to be pulling or bulging out. You don't want things riding up and poking out or flopping over. <laughs> Enough said. We need to have our shorts fitting, especially as we're getting older. It's just really important that our shorts fit us perfectly. Some people will tell you to size up in shorts, but I think most of the day, time these days as retailers have kind of figured out that women want a little bit more room in their shorts, and so they've started sizing them that way. Tip number five is about tops. And you want to top your shorts proportionately. And I mean two things by that. First of all, if you are wearing those kind of slim fitting shorts, like maybe some Bermudas here, then it is perfectly appropriate to wear a fuller top or maybe a top with some ruffling across the shoulders and the sleeves, which is very on trend right now. So that fuller top with those slimmer fitting shorts, that will help you to achieve those great proportions as far as fullness and slim fitting. 
On the other hand, if you're wearing those shorts that have kind of a more of a wider leg opening, then you might want to wear something more trim up front, up top. It doesn't have to be, you know, tight, but it just might want to be more closer to your body or just less fussy. Something that has a very streamlined look, maybe kind of like this summer sweater does here with these linen shorts. I kind of think that balances out really nicely. Now you also want to make sure that your top ends at the right place so that your shorts shorts look an appropriate length. So for instance, you know, once again, we're doing that proportion thing. If you're wearing those Bermuda length shorts, then one of the ways they look really sharp, I think, is if you tuck your top in and you have that really great proportions, then you have that two to one proportion from the bottom to the top. So I think that's really nice. If you want to leave your shirt untucked, you absolutely can do that. You just want to make sure you're not leaving out a really long top over some really shorter shorts, and then you just got a little bit of short poking out, a little bit of short poking out. Don't want that, okay? We want our shorts to look like they're shorts, like we're wearing something, and we want our top to have that flattering length. Now remember, if you don't buy a top that has that flattering length, I think this sweater does, it hits at a nice place, but most of my tops are a little bit longer, so I give them a little front tuck. And I get questions all the time about how do you do the front tuck? I look stupid in a front tuck. My biggest tip about a front tuck is just do it, do it, do it until A, you get used to seeing yourself like that, and B, you begin to kind of master it. It just takes a lot of practice. There's really no perfect science to it. I generally tuck in a little bit, then pull out a little bit. I play with it and I go, eh, and I walk out the door. And you can do that too. The goal here is simply to achieve those proportions with a little bit of a sloppy, undone look. We talked about that in the last couple of videos a few times ago when we talked about looking effortlessly chic. All right, now tip number six has to do with what, what the colors and the patterns. I love patterned shorts and I like to have at least one pair every summer and, and patterned crop pants too because I, I just kind of like the florals and the paisleys and all that. This year I bought these, I think they're called hibiscus, trailing hibiscus shorts. So they're a print, they're not real loud, they're kind of subdued, but you want to wear them correctly. I also got me some bright, woo, neon orange shorts. I like these too, so they're a little bright. How do you wear those? You want to balance out all the color, all the busyness with something a little bit more subdued. So there are a few tops that I think are perfect for that. A, a solid white t-shirt will always get the trick done. It just goes with everything from, you know, those, those print shorts to those really colorful shorts. But also another great top would be another neutral colored t-shirt, like a navy or a gray or a black, if it works with those shorts. And then my third choice would be something in chambray. Actually, that's probably my first choice. I love a chambray top over some busy shorts or really colorful shorts. They just really have a way of tempering it and making it look balanced and really pulled together and chic. Tip number seven is going to the other end and that is choosing your footwear strategically. So once again, it all really has to do a proportion and just making your legs look longer. And especially I would say if you are wearing those longer length shorts then it's really smart to wear one of few options. You have a few options here. Probably the easiest option is to go with a sandal or a shoe, even a loafer in a flesh tone. So anything that you pick in a flesh tone, whether it's a sneaker like I did here, or a loafer or a slide or something, which I don't have, I don't think any of these pictures, or some sandals in that flesh tone, something close to your flesh tone. That's gonna elongate your legs. It's gonna really just balance everything out. Now, another option is to wear your sneakers. And I think personally, if I'm gonna wear sneakers with my shorts, then I either want to wear white sneakers or I do like these, once again, they're tan, that you know, beigey color, so they're kind of my skin tone. So I think those work too. And those retro trainers are still really trending, so they're a great option. Another choice, of course, is metallics. So especially if you have like a metallic sandal like these, Tory Burch sandals are really cool. They're pricey, but they're really cool. And there's lots of metallic sandals out there. I'll link it to several options. So those are always fun. 
especially if you're wearing any really kind of sandal if you want to wear something colored like i've done these black ones here you just want something that shows a little bit of ankle shows a little bit of foot so it elongates your legs i would not wear probably like a colored shoe or something really big and bold on your feet that's going to make your legs look a little bit more stumpy and really kind of just disrupt all those proportions that you're trying to achieve all right, now I'm getting into a couple of tips here that I really think just help us feel more comfortable in our shorts. And one thing that I've noticed I really like to do as I've gotten older is to add a third piece to my shorts outfit. So I've done that. You've probably already seen a few of them. It just really gives me a little bit more comfort. And that is, so I'll do that by wearing a tank top, which I'm not all that comfortable wearing just a tank top and short these days. You may be, but I'm not. But when I add that linen top or even this just kind of a really lightweight cotton top over it, it just really does so many things. First of all, it kind of hides my waistline a little bit. It maybe hides that rear end view of those shorts. It makes me feel a little bit more covered, a little bit more mature, a little bit more pulled together. There's so many ways you could do this. You can wear a linen button up shirt like I've done here. And I've got another one here, just a cotton shirt, a really lightweight cotton shirt works nicely. Or of course you can add a jacket. I do have a linen jacket that I picked up at Talbot's that I loved. I don't think I'm showing it here, but I'll link it below because it really works too and gives you a little different proportion because it hits a little higher on the waist. So there, those are some great options. Another option though would be to add a kimono or a ruana like I've done here. So I love this look. Now these things, this ruana and this top, they're not available anymore. I think the shorts are, but these are from last year. I haven't picked up a ruana or kimono yet this year, but I really love the way that works over shorts. It just makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel pulled together. Now, of course, my ninth tip is if you want to add some self tanner, if you are of the paler complexion like I am and you want to add some self tanner, do it. But you know what? If you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. If you have white skin like I do, just wear it. It's okay. However, I have found that some of us have some of those varicose veins or some spider veins or maybe just some discoloration on our legs and adding a little bit of self tanner. I know some women also use leg makeup. I've not experienced that, so I don't really you can't really make recommendations there, but with self tanner, I'm going to link you to the two products that I've enjoyed using. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more too in an upcoming video. So stay with me for that. Now that leads me though to tip number 10, which I think is so important. And that is, you know what, girlfriend, put you on some confidence because you absolutely can wear shorts if you want to. Not too long ago, I was getting my nails done. In fact, I was at that little drying station, you know, where you sit there and have your nails dried and I had to be real still. And I was watching people go by and I watched these two women get out of a car. They looked like they were a good little bit older than me. I won't say how old they were. I don't know how old they were. They looked like they're about 20 years older than me and they looked darling. They had on shorts, they had on tank tops, they were happy, they were together, they were smiling, they were laughing. They looked beautiful. Now, when I looked a little closer, I noticed, yes, they had some wrinkles, they had some age spots, they were not perfectly toned and skinny, but they looked gorgeous. You know what? We pay a whole lot more attention to our own legs, our own flabby arms, our own crepey necks, than anybody else does. If somebody sees you and you are smiling and you look happy in what you are wearing, they are not gonna think of it. They're not even gonna notice your spider veins. They are not. They're not gonna notice those age spots. Only you notice those things. If you put on a smile and you feel confident in those shorts, because I gave you nine other tips so that you will, then you can rock those things with confidence. All right, ladies, if you don't wanna wear shorts still, I get you. And in a couple of weeks, I have a video about what to wear instead. Like I said, today's video has been sponsored by Squarespace and I appreciate you taking just a minute to hear a little bit about them because they are supporting this YouTube channel. Squarespace provides people with a beautiful and powerful platform on which to create your own website. In fact, we're gonna be using Squarespace to set up a website for my husband and his photography business. They help you to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. And you can also on Squarespace manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights 
all on their one easy to use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website too, which is one of my favorite things about having a website with a fully integrated comment system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, you can interact with those who read your website. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. You can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So if you're interested in starting a website because it is such a fun thing to do, then I encourage you to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash K harms. And there you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So be sure to check the link below to check out squarespace.com and be sure to go through that link in order to save your 10%. Setting up a website, y'all, is such a fun thing to do. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you have a great week.